What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. If you're like me, you've been asking, where's some new TDE music? We've been waiting to hear uh, Schoolboy Q's album, who he's been teasing it on Twitter and, and Snapchat, and we've seen little clips. He has a video ready to go. We've been waiting. And I know Absol also has something. But today, uh, Top Dog, the founder of TDE, decided to post an image to tease us about the 2016 releases. On the list is Schoolboy Q, SZA, Isaiah Rashad, Absol, Kendrick, and J-Rock. Now, J-Rock and Kendrick don't really have anything on the schedule. Uh, for J They're just on the list because J-Rock's at the bottom and he says ER. Like, you know, he's in the emergency room after his accident. Uh, for Kendrick, it says question mark. And in parentheses, it says get top on the phone. Get top on the phone and figure out what Kendrick's going to do this year. I feel like he's going to drop some album, whether it's another solo album or it's an EP even, like a continuation of To Pimp a Butterfly or the long-awaited collaboration album with J. Cole. I don't know. But the only projects on the list that seem to be close are Schoolboy Q and Ab Soul. For Q, in parentheses, it says sample clearance. And... For Absol, it says mixing. So those two projects are done, but they still have some things to work out before they can come. And then SZA and Isaiah Rashad, their um, parentheses are both uh, fourth stage creative and third stage creative. Um, I'm, I'm excited because I know Schoolboy Q's album is going to sound really good. I've just heard the snippets and I'm looking forward to it. And... To a lesser extent, I'm looking forward to Absol's new project, but I really hope it sounds nothing like these days. I really did not like that project at all. It was a very disappointing project, but I'm looking forward to it because I know Absol's not going to deliver the same thing that he just did. And I'm just, you know, looking forward to it all around. And also on the board is New Artist. It says John Doe 1 and 2. Obviously, they're not going to reveal the new artist. And John Doe 1, his creative, or uh, his uh, parenthesis says second stage creative, which means that this guy that they signed is already working on a project. He's already well into it. I don't know what the, the, the whole stage is means i mean i get that you know once you get to like i'm thinking four stage creative is the highest and once you have that then your project is pretty much done but as far as like how they measure that like how do you measure when you leave first stage creative to second stage i don't know uh you know we'd have to talk to td about that but just the fact that they have two new artists is enough to speculate like who are these people are they known or are they like brand new artists that we're going to get introduced to and we've never heard? I don't know, but I'm very intrigued by this, just this board, just having this list, you know, it's enough to spark some discussion and debates and I don't know. I'm trying to think like who would fit in with TDE that would actually sign, you know, like right now I'm thinking of like Scheme. Scheme is a really talented artist, but... Would he actually sign the TD? I don't think so. I think he's he's past that point in his career. And he's talked about in the past, they've wanted to sign him, but he's just wanted to be, uh, you know, independent, solely independent. But I don't know who can really sign the TDE. And I think it'll be interesting just to see, like, what they sound like and if they fit in with the idea of TDE or if they're completely left field artists. You know, nobody on TDE really sounds the same, but if you put them all together, you put them on records interchangeable and stuff and collaborate, they do sound like they fit together. I mean, you can throw uh, J-Rock on an Isaiah Rashad record and it sounds like it would fit. You know, the same with like a Schoolboy Q and then Kendrick. Um, the last thing on this photo, on this board, is 2017 possible release. The letters BH. Black Hippie. In parentheses, it says Praying. Now, the Black Hippie album has been... It's like every time you see somebody in TDE do an interview, or at least the, the four that are in Black Hippie, they always kind of have to address that. 
journalists and interviewers are always asking them, what's up with the Black Hippie album? What's up with this? And it's gotten to a point where you just don't know what's going to happen with it. We've heard that it's coming. We've heard that it's not going to happen at all. And, you know, it just... At this point, going into 2016, I just figured, oh, it's never going to happen. But here we are, you know, Top Dog is kind of revi reviving that anticipation, that hype for it. And we'd have to wait till 2017, but it seems like it could be something that actually happens. And I would love to see it, and considering the, the chemistry that Black Hippie has shown. Um, so I just wanted to kind of discuss this photo, this board. And I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, which albums are you most looking for from TDE this year? Who do you think could be signed to TDE that they can keep under wraps? And is it? do you think it's somebody that we know who it is? Somebody buzzing? Or is it an entirely new artist that we've never heard of? Let me know in the comment section below. And then like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.